Uh, lead poisoning is the most common environmental illness to children in California and because of that we really want to educate parents and consumers on which products and toys they can purchase for children and which ones are safe. The important thing to understand about lead poisoning is that it's symptomless. There is no symptom that is unique to lead poisoning. So a child might have stomach upset, diarrhea, vomiting, like any poison that's in your body, your body's trying to eliminate it. And that's where it becomes a problem is oftentimes we'll treat that like a flu sy symptom and not actually do a blood lead test. The only way to know if your child is poisoned is to get a blood test and you have to ask for that specific test. Um, anytime you have a question or a poisoning emergency, you can call the California Poison Control System at 1-800-222-1222. We're available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. We never close and we're always here to help and we have interpreters in over 100 languages. We do have a, quite a bit of tips actually regarding how to prevent lead poisoning and hopefully everyone will subscribe to our text messaging service which is 69866 and put in the word tips or puntos if you'd like it in Spanish and we will provide you with a lead poisoning prevention message. Today, because we really want to educate consumers on lead poisoning, we have Carolyn Cox with the Center for Environmental Health who's going to test some products for us and let us know which have lead and which are safe. So I purchased this for my three-year-old son, and I've heard that a lot of toys contain lead. I was hoping I could test it to make sure that there isn't any lead in right. this. Okay. I'm going to open this cover and place the toy that we want to test inside this compartment. Then I close the cover, and then I'm ready to start the machine. And what this machine does is it creates an x-ray beam and it sends that x-ray beam up into the item that you're testing and um, based on what bounces back it can identify what heavy metals are in that product and it can also give you a relatively accurate um, calculation of what concentration they are so you not only know what's there but you know how much. What the machine is telling me is that um, there's lead in that red um, covering um, around the boxing glove and there's um, enough lead in it that it would be likely to fail the testing required by federal law. So can I return this um, to the store where I purchased it from? I think it's a great idea for you to talk to the store where you bought it and I would hope that any store would want to do the right thing and give you a refund or let you exchange it for a safe product.